healthy Michiganders love our pizza and we're home to many national and statewide pizza chains. But we found a local pizzeria that's doing things a little bit differently than all the rest. And not only is their Neapolitan style pizza authentic, but they are serving it up with a side of community. Who doesn't love that? Our Michelle Oliver takes us to Southwest Detroit, one of my favorite neighborhoods, to dine in the D at Pizza Plex. Here at Pizza Plex, they specialize in two things, making fresh, authentic Neapolitan style pizza and creating a sense of community. The building is kind of broken up into two sides. When you think of Plex, you think of like a complex, you think of movies, you think of, you know, just like, a, a, like an auxiliary space. And so that's what that room is. And so we have like the pizza side and the Plex side. Owners Alessandra and Drew came up with the idea for Pizza Plex on their honeymoon. The first five days of their honeymoon, they spent learning how to make pizza. Uh, so, so when they come back to their oven, they could be ready to go. They got these little amateur certificates. They got hats and shirts. By the time they got back, Drew just rolled his sleeves up. He finished building the oven pretty much single-handedly. And then the first time they made pizza for anyone, they made 40 pizzas for like a neighborhood party. Their friends and them banded together, renovating the restaurant and learning how to make pizzas, opening Pizza Plex in 2017. They passed on that sense of community by hosting events on the Plex side, starting a clothing and book swap, and establishing their Suspeso program. The Suspeso is like um, something that's been paid for by someone else. Uh, oh. That's like set aside for anyone, no questions asked. In terms of food, they serve Neapolitan street food, including these salt and boca sandwiches and their certified authentic Neapolitan pizzas. We have that certification because we cook our pizza a certain way, we prepare the dough a certain way, everything is of a certain style that you have to like really obey. A popular pizza they make here is their Salsiccia e Friele. We start with the dough, which is made with the traditional, very finely milled, double zero caputo flour. Now you kind of right. work it like a clock, right? Okay. Here's high noon, right? Yep. And then you just push it four times between noon and three. This helps form the crust. So now it's just a matter of doing that same repetition that you did with this part, just over and over again until it gets out the sides, right? And okay. This is, this is fata valare. This is making it flat. And you don't want to over. No, you don't want to overtouch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once the dough is stretched out, we add some Italian sausage and rapini. It's like a sister to broccoli. It's a little bit more bitter, and we we sauté it with some whole garlic cloves. Oh just yeah, I just flavor. got one. Yeah. I was like, what is that? Is that garlic? Yeah. I love garlic. <laughs> then we top it with some fresh mozzarella. Now into the oven. A matter of pulling out a tablecloth from underneath. I was yeah. never very good at that, so we'll. Right. Yeah, did you okay. want to try? All right. Yeah. And then you'll, you'll just go in, and okay. then a real quick yank, yank out. Yep. There you go. Look at that. Okay. That, that second yank you did was perfect. Thank was you. Perfect. Yeah. This wood-fired brick oven is 900 degrees and can cook a pizza in about 90 seconds. So you have to move the pizzas around to keep them from burning. And then watch the pizza as I do that. Oh! Right? Yeah. So much with so little. I feel like that's right. Italian and cooking then, in a nutshell. Yes. <laughs> when it's almost done, we lift the pizza to the top of the oven. It's maybe a little bit, a little bit golden. Get that yeah. golden and side. You're, you're as good as gold. Is that that's good? a beautiful looking pizza. We drizzle on some olive oil and then we slice it. Just listen to the sound the crust makes. Delicious. Sioso with uh, Peroni there, the Italian beer. Joining us, Alessandra Carrion, one of the owners of Pizza Plex. Hello, Alessandra. Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm doing wonderfully, thank you. I'm doing fantastic as well because you have pizza and bourbon. I'm, I'm right. right there with you. <laughs> and we established while the pizza was going that this is not kale on this pizza. What is on here? It's friarelli. Uh -huh. In Naples we call it friarelli, but they are known as rapini here. There you go. Fairly yeah. lady? Uh, close. Friarelli. <laughs> friarelli. Okay, well, we may as well keep going with the tour then. What's <laughs> up, uh, screen right up there? Sure, what? then we have a primavera pizza. That's prosciutto, which is a cured ham and arugula and tomatoes. We have what's more of a dessert pizza, uh, pear, ricotta, and honey. That's oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Pears and sliced pears? It has pears, pears? yes, yeah, sliced pears. It just slightly yeah. so it doesn't fall so you can see it. 
dessert pizza. How yeah. about that? Mm -hmm. And the presentation in this next one with the garlic and the tomatoes, mm -hmm. the little cherry to or cherry tomatoes? That's right, it's cherry tomatoes. This the two pizzas in the center here are what we call classic Neapolitan pizzas. We have a marinara and a margherita. So in Naples you can go to pizzerias and there will be places that only serve these two pizzas. And what's on this one here? Margherita is basil, mozzarella, and tomato. That's it. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. And the last one? And the last one is porcini, which is a pizza plex special, and that's pancetta, which mm -hmm. is like bacon, and truffle oil, and mozzarella. This is the one that I had with an ice-cold Miller High Life. There you go. It was top-notch. <laughs> yeah, and I was telling Alessandra, these pizzas look exactly like the pizza I ate in Italy. The size, the look, the dough, everything. Explain to us how you are authentic Neapolitan pizza. Sure, so thank you. You have uh, validated exactly what yeah. uh, we are going for in our pizzeria. <laughs> so our pizzeria is the first Vera Pizza Napoletana certified restaurant in Detroit and only the second in the state of Michigan. Wow. That means that we are following exacting standards in the Neapolitan pizza tradition using specific kind of flour, specific kind of tomatoes. And uh, this is our proof, this certificate here, Love that it. the nonprofit- Here, let me get a look at this. Let's, let's get a go. close up here. <laughs> That's right, that means... La, la Sozione Vera Pizza Napolitana, Pizzaplex, Detroit, USA. That's Attesta. Right. If you get an Attesta, you're there good. You go. that, you're done. <laughs> Certified. Certified. And then right. that looks like a beautiful tiramisu. And tiramisu, yep. Fabulous, fabulous. Mm -hmm. So tell us about Suspeso sponsorship. Yes. How does that work exactly? Sure. So Pizzaplex is not only about the pizza, but about the community we create and the community we welcome, which is everyone. It's an inclusive space. So Suspeso is an homage to a Neapolitan culture, a Neapolitan custom, which is to pay it forward for others. So mm. at Pizzaplex, you can buy a pizza, you can buy a coffee for someone, and no questions asked, uh, anyone can redeem it. But we take that to a whole other level. We scale it up, and so we offer these sponsorships through the generosity of our customers where we actually provide pizzas to nonprofits organizations that might need the pizzas for events. I love that. Good pizza. And community. mixed cocktails as well as yes. the beer and the we wine. Have a full and bar. Whole. Community events, all kinds of things going on there. Please remind everybody where you're located as I grab this paper airplane. Oh yes, 4458 West Verner Highway in Southwest Detroit. 